Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. In this video, let's work on subtracting negative numbers. Okay, and this may be helpful. You can use what's called SADS, which stands for same signs, add and keep the sign. Different signs, you subtract and keep the sign of the larger number. So let's get started. We have three minus seven. Technically, you could say that this negative number is attached, but on the number line, you have three here, and you're going to take seven away. You're going to subtract, so you're going to move in this direction. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that gives you a negative four. Now, let's apply SADS, okay? Let's place the first number on top, and if you'll notice, you have opposite signs. So we are going to subtract, and then we're going to place the three underneath, okay? So we have a positive and a negative. When we subtract, that means we have 4. 7 is the larger number, so it becomes a negative 4. Now, let's apply this to the next one. We have minus a negative. Well, when we subtracted the 7, when we took 7 away, 7 was, um, we went in this direction. Well, the negative 2 is going to be moving. It's the opposite, so it's going to move in this direction. So what we can do is change this negative to a positive, okay? So now let's go ahead and write 4 and 2, because those are two numbers. I placed the larger one on top. And next you will notice that you have a negative number and a positive, so we have opposites, so we're going to subtract, so 4 minus 2 is 2, and we're going to take the sign of the larger number, which is negative 4, so it becomes negative 2. Okay, let's go ahead and look at this next one, but let's first look at it on the number line, uh, so we have 3 here. Now, if we were just subtracting 2, you know you would go in this direction. But negative 2 is the opposite. So we're going to go in this direction. Okay? So we go 1, 2, so it equals 5. So let's now use said and see if we can get the same answer. Remember, anytime you have minus a negative, we're going to convert this to a positive. Okay? Now we have a positive 3 and a positive 2, so I'm going to place 3 over 2. I'm going to place the 3 there because it's larger. And now we have same signs, so we will add, because remember, same, you add, so that becomes 5, and you keep the same sign, which is positive. So there's our answer. Okay, on these next two, let's go ahead and apply the same rules of SADS. Okay, we have a negative 2 and a negative 7, so we have the same sign. So we are going to add and keep the same sign. If you'll notice, always place the largest number on top. So 7 and 2, and we're going to add. That gives us 9, and we're going to keep the sign of negative, so it becomes negative 9. Okay, this next one, again, we have minus a negative, so we're going to switch this to a positive. I'm going to place the largest number on top, and notice that we have opposites, so we are going to subtract. 7 minus 5 is 2, and then we're going to keep the sign of the larger number, 7, so it is a positive 2.